Subnautica is a game filled with lots of water, submarines, and not scary fish. Given that it's one of the most popular survival games, it might come as a bit of a surprise that I've never played it before, but this is actually my first time ever in this game. Naturally, I'm a coward and I didn't want to do it alone, so of course I had to bring along my good friend Toast that I'm sure a lot of you already know. Over the next 100 days, two idiots who have never played this game before, namely Mad Toaster Waffles and myself, are going to try to explore everything this game has to offer, fight off weird and scary sea creatures, explore, build, and just see what shenanigans we can get up to. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Also be sure to check out Mad Toaster Waffles, all of his links are in the description. But I have talked long enough, so let's get straight into the shitty intro, and then get into this beautiful video of spending 100 days in Subnautica. Before starting this playthrough, I should mention that Subnautica is not actually multiplayer by design. It's a single player game which requires a multiplayer mod to play. Therefore, there's going to be a lot of bugs and glitches throughout this playthrough that just come with this multiplayer mod, so I apologize in advance, but some of them ended up being pretty funny. In that spirit, my recording software ended up recording a frozen screen for the first three-ish minutes of this gameplay. However, once I had that all figured out, it was time for day one. I'll switch that up in a second. What was... What was that? You're not here. You're not here that? Eat something. Eat what? Given that Toast and I had never played Subnautica before, day one was just kind of figuring out the basics. Are you friendly? Probably not. If you have to ask, probably not. <laughs> His name's a stalker. Life. Uh, what the fuck's down here? Oh, what's this? Limestone outcrop. The Fabricator. What? Where's I'm getting attacked. I don't know where from. Oh? Help. Oh, Help. substance? That seems like a you problem. Like a significant you problem. Day two began by watching a beautiful sunrise and then getting acquainted with some of the local wildlife. What are you? Hey! What are you? Fuck off. Jeez. Oh. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. I was then able to craft two fairly important early game items. Oh, yeah, well, you make a repair tool, right? Oh, I can make a scanner. Our goal is to make a repair tool, I think, right now. We need cave sulfur and titanium. I'll take a standard O2 tank. And spend some time scanning some stuff. I mean, this this not scary game that we're playing? Yeah, it's not scary. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Everyone's like, oh, you're gonna be terrified. No, I'm not. Fucking. I'm a man. I'm a manly man. This is my type of fish right here. His name's like a gasopod or oh, something. Shit. That's a big fat dude, bro. Oh damn, that that boy thick as hell. You see this guy? I'm 200 meters away from you. I got a thick boy over here. Oh, uh, I I got a thicker boy. At night, I also noticed something off in the distance. Jesus, that moon is so close. Is that the planet? We're on the moon. The morning of day three, I decided to be really brave and venture far away from our base to discover new resources and scan new items. I did realize, however, that Toast might have been right about who found the thicker boy. Ah! You good? <laughs> <laughs> Found the big guy. Oh my yeah, god, that like... scared the shit. <laughs> no, I, if I seen him from a distance, I just turned around and he was right there. Toast then reminded me how good he is at describing things. Which, plant. which ones are the tiger plants? Ones that are throbbing. Oh. Also at night, our PA had one of those no shit Sherlock moments. To I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> we're in the <laughs> middle of an ocean. <laughs> Day four, we were continuing on our path of exploring and scanning stuff when we got a slightly concerning message. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. 
quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Huh. So, like, we should probably... New creature discovered. Later in the day, we had collected enough materials to craft the repair tool, and after Toast did some repairing, the life pod was back online. Life pod secondary systems online. Let's go. Now I can get my very own repair tool. It's like you think there's something out there, right? That's the spooky part. You don't know what's going to come out of the, uh, out of the darkness. Just... Ruin your day. The morning of day five, I learned that in some cases you can judge a book by its cover and name. <laughs> not friendly. Yeah, probably not. After this, well, it was boom time. This probably won't end well. Five. I hope I'm not too close. Me too. Okay, well that was, uh, that was a big boom. Oh yeah, and later in the day we also managed to craft the absolutely beautiful Sea Glide. Oh yeah, this, this definitely helps. <laughs> also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Alright, we are going home without them. Oh, 100%. The morning of day six, we decided, you know what, let's be good crewmates and go after that distress signal. And then multiplayer happened. See, so, where? Maybe you can go in this way. Oh, you go this way. In what? Okay, we'll take that. I literally do not see what you're in right now. We now had everything we needed to build a sea moth, though, at least blueprint-wise, so we spent the rest of the day collecting the required materials, and then at night, it was time to watch it come to life. Huh. <laughs> well, thank you, to thank you, Toast. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. Check it out. It even does bump damage. Ow! The morning of day seven, I wanted to craft my own sea moth for obvious reasons, so that was what I spent the morning doing. Really? Really? Die to. Fucking thing blew up, dude. Give me bladder fish at. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, I forgot to eat, actually. Now that Toast and I both had a Seamoth, it was time to craft up the radiation suit and go explore that big, beautiful wreck that's been staring at us for far too long. My Twitch chat did inform me that there was death waiting for me at the back of the ship, so naturally, that's where we headed. The morning of day 8, we continued exploring the wreck of the Aurora. However, given that we didn't have the equipment required to actually explore further, there wasn't too much for us to find here. So we just decided, let's do something dumb. Okay. Apparently this way, there's something really dangerous that might kill us, right? All right. All right, let's, uh, let's go. Also, when I just said, let's do something dumb, I kind of meant me because this happened. Dude. What was that? Dude. What? You suck. What did I do? You, you fucking Tokyo drifted into my, my sea moth and blew it up. Oh! That's Sammy! Hey! No, 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 Yo! Hey! 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 Uh-oh! That's Sammy. Found Sammy. Yeah, that was not a fun first encounter with Sammy. The rest of the day we just did some exploring and the usual jazz. The morning of day 9, Toast had got himself a build tool, which meant it was now time for the start of a glorious base. Emergency power only. Nice. Oxygen right, production base. offline. Also, you just gotta love multiplayer. Nah. Uh. What? Of course I wanted my own habitat builder, so I gathered the required materials and built that. Then spent some time looking over all of the build options. 
An aquarium. Really? That's what we need. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, that's what we fucking need. It's an aquarium, huh, Toast? Okay, so we've got a tube now, Toast. We've, <laughs> we've oh, established a tube. Fabricator here. The morning of day 10, I discovered this little crack in the ground. You know what that means. It is time for an adventure. Okay, um, I see something. That was a and there's like stuff on the ground, so I think we can maybe get diamonds. Point of view, tapeworm in your ass. Thanks, chat. It's a mod still. I mean, maybe you can tell, but yeah, there's no, there's nothing glitchy going on here. But all right, we're good. The morning of day 11, I dove down deep after the coordinates of the distress call we just received. It, it updated to this rendezvous point up here. This is land. You're telling me we just didn't see this? Yeah, why did this robot bitch make us stay in the water for so long? Why couldn't we see this? This is literally like half a kilometer away. This is this massive island. My viewers on Twitch were also questioning whether or not Toast was willingly participating in these videos. The video Toast don't like is the one he gets tortured in. No. He is free to do what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded like you had a gun to your head for that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Send man. help. Send help. No, Please. no, no, no. He's happy. Oh no, he heard me. Oh no. <laughs> In my notes for what I did on day 12, I just put a question mark, so let's find out together, I guess. Pulp Fiction was pretty good. I have never seen Pulp Fiction. You've never seen Pulp Fiction? No. Dude. Dude. I know. A surprising majority of day 13 was spent playing with the Stalkers. Wow, that sounds bad. I also questioned my friendship with Toast later in the day. If you get the scanner room... Fucked. Get fucked. Did you just yoink my battery? Get fucked. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll get back here. Immediately, <laughs> I got killed. And the, the <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. The morning of day 14, we received another encouraging distress call. I also spent some time testing out the construction elements of this game. However, I wasn't paying attention to that number in the top left side, and that'll become important very soon. I think our base is breaking. No, I'm just adding shit to it. Okay. It says build reinforcements or remove weak parts. Yeah, that doesn't breaks. seem like a me problem. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> In my mind, as long as I didn't believe it was happening, it wasn't happening. And would you look at that? It is, looks mighty flooded right now. I doubt it. Okay, you're, you're being... You're over-exaggerating. Well... Shit, eh? What'd you do, Toast? Dude, fuck off. <laughs> Honestly, day 15 was pretty average and pretty boring. More or... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm so clever. The morning of day 16, we were out looking at another life pod and discovering a new biome. And then I got the single most horrifying PDA message I had ever received. No, 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 absolutely not. Goodbye. You want to see what a Leviathan class life form is? <laughs> I think Sammy was one. However, I decided that exploration and being stupid was far more important than anything my PDA said. This is bad. Oh wait, no, I can switch this, right? Alright. No, I dropped it! What'd you drop? I went to switch my oxygen tanks and I ended up dropping it. <laughs> Get fucked. Day 17, I discovered this epic biome with a lot of useful stuff in it. Oh, I just got a diamond. You got a diamond? Yeah. Try and find another one around there. Also, I wasn't the only one discovering some cool things. What the fuck, the fuck is, is that? that? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm behind it. 
What is in here? Okay, I think I found some fucking lore stuff. All right, I, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna wait for you to come over here. Day 18, we were doing some prepping, you know, getting ready to explore that location Toast had discovered when we uncovered this fairly advanced piece of technology. All right, now we'll come back and see if it catches anything. It's it's grabbing things. It's some cool. pretty pretty sophisticated. Oh. Once we arrived, it was time to explore. Right. What the fuck is this? Oh shit. Uh, should we pick up the ion cubes? Absolutely. No, I can scan it. Yeah, I thought about it. Yeah, scan the cube beforehand. I'm picking up all the ion cubes. There's a data term terminal. Oh. Integrating new EDA. 30 seconds. Day 19, we were in need of some water on this beautiful planet, so I had to, well, cull an entire generation of fish. At least later in the day, we finally got a positive message on the radio. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Day 20, I was exploring my favorite biome and gathering blueprints while Toast was doing some work on the base, and well, chaos ensued. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Detecting massive energy. Okay, I need you to come back right now. Like, as soon as possible. I'm stuck in a box. What did you do? I'm stuck in a box, man. <laughs> what did oh. you do? <laughs> I'm stuck in a box. No, I just found a cool cave. Dude, I'm like, I have no idea how I even okay. got here. All right. I can eat these. All right. Well, while I'm here, I'm getting this. That help? Maybe this way? I fucked up, man. I fucked up. I can hear that, dude. I just picked up a cool little thing. Okay. I got out of the box. That was the important part. So, note to self, don't try and break stuff from inside. There's no supports left. What do you mean there's no supports left? Oh, there's nothing in here. We're just underwater. Well, it's draining. Day 21 Toast and I logged back onto the server and found a nice multiplayer surprise waiting for us. Why is this like... Um... What? Is that a uh, water thing still there? For you? No. I also had to decipher a new kind of hint for a pod location. Perfect. I just found a uh, life pod 4. Solid. It's like floating upside down with a hole blasted in the side of it. Early in the morning on day 22, I thought it might be a good idea to explore near the back of the Aurora. Rookie mistake. Oh. Whoa! You good? Absolutely. Fine. Shit. Alright. Shit. Please don't destroy my Aurora, please. Doing some exploring, I also found this very useful blueprint. I spent the rest of the day just building shit. The entirety of day 23 was spent gathering all the materials required to build a scanner room and then actually building the damn thing. Well, this is pretty nifty. So if I'm looking for a limestone chunk. Oh. The morning of day 24, the power was restored, which means it's time to do a little testing of the new scanner room. And then you can actually take out, like, this camera that'll... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, trying to find Stalker Teeth in multiplayer turned out to be one of the glitchiest experiences of my life. At least Toastified Gravity, though. It looks a little bit full, is all. <gasps> no, you're just you swimming in nothing right now, dude. Alright, alright. There was something that Toast and I really wanted to get our hands on that required two stalker teeth for no particular reason, so we spent the morning of day 25 trying to get our hands on a second one. I can honestly say it wasn't fun. It's uh, on the scrap metal, like underneath it. Oh, this scrap metal? Yeah, underneath it. Oh, I got grabbed. But it was underneath that scrap metal. But with our stalker teeth now collected, it was time to build something beautiful that even our PDA let us know was useless. Unless constructed with a specific room 
research task in mind. Observatories and other glass modules are imprinted. Even he, she called it useless. Yeah. Looks cool though. Yeah. Day 26, I was very excited to show off my newly constructed glass bowl to toast. Oh, right here. Uh, yeah, this is pretty useless. <laughs> I wanted you to be Looks proud cool, of though. me. cool, though. Cool. Uh, you know what be really cool? If we built out, like, a bunch of glass tubes out that way and then put this on the end. Again, yeah. completely useless, but at least you'd get a better We built view, an FU you know? tower in the last one. Now we build the fuck you tunnel. Or the... Yeah. The... We gotta make that run. Uh, the shaft of fuck you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the shaft with this massive tip on the end. A lot of the rest of the day was spent making the necessary preparations to add a moon pool to our base as it was something that we unlocked and we wanted. We then got a very encouraging message. Then we're coming in to get you. I just Cross feel like they're not gonna come get us. Holes. Don't leave us waiting. Send me out. You like can't bring it up until. Oh, there we go. Day 27 was the day before the sunbeam arrived, which meant that today was the day just to do some random prep, some exploring, you know, the good stuff. Cause I still need a diamond for the, uh, what's it called? I'm far away, dude. I'm taking a beating right here. There's like All a ton right. of sharks, so I know this. I know where this biome is. Here we are, it is now day 28, which means it's time for the Sunbeam to come and save us, probably. So we grabbed what we needed and headed on over. We had a bit of time when we arrived, so we decided to explore just a bit before the Sunbeam got here. What are you... Hello? Your best oh no. Of interfacing with this facility <laughs> I hope I can go up after going down. <laughs> oh, there's a crab. Watch out. I'm, I'm gonna give him the business. And now it's time to get saved. I... I think they're gonna pick us up, we're gonna leave, and we're done today. <laughs> That's the end of the game. <laughs> no, I'm... They're, I, they're gonna get, like, shot down or something. Yeah, or just like, like a leviathan's gonna, like, jump out of the him. air and fucking... Yeah. RKO him or something. You hear that? Yeah. Oh. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down Why there. Why is the one landing we site right next to the, uh, towards the, landing site. the thing? The gun. <laughs> is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Is this thing an anti-aircraft gun? Down. Touching down at 10, 9, 8. I think it is. It's coming from the building? Change course. Oh, yep. Set thrusters to full. Ah, lovely. <laughs> well, nice try, guys. Why? 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 Why, is, why did that building just turn into an AA gun? There is nothing out here except for crabs and leviathans and suddenly there's a build of an an air gun. <laughs> the size of the fucking chrysler building out here just ready to absolutely tear down some shit oh it's moving of course we had a few questions so we kept exploring to try to get answers oh oh man all right light speed where are we going where am i oh fuck it Early on day 29, we found, well, we found some stuff. Given how absolutely wealthy we were now in lithium, we had to use it for something good, and that good thing was to build reinforcements. Oh, these are seven each? Yeah. That's, that's nutty. That is pretty fucking nutty. I like how reinforcing one part of your base yeah, this like, building this massive reinforcement is like plus two. Day 30, we were still trying to understand what the hell is going on on this planet, so we decided to head back to the anti-aircraft gun to explore it and get some answers. Naturally, multiplayer is gonna be multiplayer. Did you want to interact with this first, or do you want to uh, do the purple tablet first? Are you up a floor? How did you get there? Nah. 
I'm right in front of you. There's a gate here for me. Oh, so this is just open for me. Yeah, no, there's a purple tablet you have to insert here on my screen. Well, I'll drop the purple tablet for you. Oh, that did look a little funny. You just kind of leaned forward. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh? Yeah, it's not doing anything for me. Ow! Should I touch? I can touch the thing too. Fuck it. Sure. Yeah, honestly, we're still confused. Very early in the morning on day 31, I had a question to ask Toast. A hey, Toast? Yeah? Did you destroy my sea moth? No. So yeah, fuck me, I guess. So I had to spend a bit of time replacing my sea moth. I feel like I should also mention that every time we re-log onto our Subnautica server, our water filtration machines are just gone. So we have to spend a bit of time rebuilding them. Then I decided, you know what, it's time for us to have an actual storage room, so I began the design process. Day 32, I kept working on my beautiful storage room. During all this, Toast was acting a little bit... cagey. I don't even think I want to know, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> don't, don't you tell him yet, don't you tell him! <laughs> this could be anything from, like, just a completely normal thing to, like, me getting cancelled. Oh, no, no, no. No, this, this is on brand for us. <laughs> We're good. A little bit later in the day, I found out what he was talking about. Oh, boy. Post, why are you building a tower? Don't worry about it. I told you not to look into it. Day 33 came around. I was still being heavily productive, building the storage room, working for the team, whereas Toast was using every last one of his brain cells to build his big-ass tower. Oh man. Oh man, we're fucking brilliant. Yes! What did you do, man? That's what I like to see! <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what you're spending? We got, we got a story to figure build out. We, forever. <laughs> we got games to figure out. You built a. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Toast. There's more important things to be doing. I don't, I don't think you understand. This is the most important thing. Ghost, now. look behind you. We've got a massive atomic ship that crashed. Uh, alien no, 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 no. infection <laughs> spreading. But look, and then you're... we made scaffolding. <laughs> is that not great? <laughs> you thought there's going to be a limit to how far we can go. No, we're, we're going to the moon. <laughs> Who am I to stand in the way of your dream, honestly? Also, there is an ever so slight chance that Toast and I are now beginning to lose our minds. What? Uh, do you see that? Yeah, sorry what bud, I'm a little bit busy. You? Day 34, I was very sick and tired of building the storage room, so... Yeah, that's what I did today. I just kept going even though I was tired, because that's what we do over here. Toast also decided to help out with some of his own name suggestions. Just the rebreather. Do we have a lube bin? Uh, now we do. Alright. Lube. The wet and wild box? Yes, the wet and wild box. Day 35, Toast and I realized that, hey, we have enough equipment now to get into the Aurora and explore. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. There you go. Alright. Oh, uh, laser cutter. Um... I got it. All that we did on day 36 was explore every nook and cranny we could find in the Aurora. Oh, I'm in the nuclear core. Oh, yeah, scan that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, soon you won't need the radiation suit anymore now that you've uh, dealt with that? Nice. Mine still says that there's more. Pretty sure I have COVID. Prawn suit? Got a prawn suit, yeah. Let's go. You're hanging from the ceiling. This looks important. Command chair. Oh. We need a code to get into the captain's quarters. Um, try one, two, three, four.
Day 37, it turns out that this is a big ass ship and we are still exploring it. So I just, I, I made it, I, I think I just opened something new. Okay, I'm in like an administrator's room. Data terminal. However, with all of that now discovered, it was time to head back to the base. Okay, fairly productive. However, instead of having a peaceful night, I decided to be an idiot and hit the radio message. Of course I had to go after it, and well, it, it might not have been the most pleasant experience. Okay, I'm gonna follow the... <laughs> oh, that sounds big. I can see it, dude. Day 38 definitely didn't begin with me getting some food in real life. Toast had gathered all of the blueprints required to build the Piran suit, which meant I had to go look at the materials, see what I needed, and gather what was required to build myself that suit. After all that resource gathering, it was time to build myself a Piran suit. Uh, boom and boom. It is normal when first piloting a Piran suit to feel a sense of limitless power. You make a Piran suit? Yeah. Receive weeks of training Whack. to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Early in the morning on day 39, I had to go out and test drive my Piran suit properly, and I won't lie, the power went to my head just uh, a little bit. Not so fun now that I can fight back, is it? That wreck nerd. Being the phenomenal friend I am, of course I had to let Toast drive this Piran suit, and I watched him fight some sharks, though... Multiplayer doesn't exactly convey what's going on on both our screens. You can kill that big- you can kill the big sharks now too with those. Oh, I'm gonna fuck them up. I wanna Fight see this. Fight me, bitch. Fight me, bitch. Really? Get over here. Come here. Get fucked. Toast and I both had our own moon pools for our sea moths, and now that we're each gonna have a prawn suit, we had to double both of our garage sizes. Day 40, I wanted to build a second prawn suit so that we each had one, so I was working on gathering the materials for that. I had to head out and explore to try to find some diamonds and whatnot. However, Toast was convinced that he had found something awesome. Well, um, I found another door with that needs a tablet. Beacon 1's actually pretty close to you. Are you sure it's not the same spot? Uh, I think it's a different one. Day 41, I was hesitant to go after this door that Toast had supposedly found, but you know what? I'm a good friend. So I decided to waste half my day, go across, and see what Toast was talking about. What? God damn it, Toast. It's the same place. It's locked for me. It's open for me, but there's nothing in All there because right. we already looted this place. Yeah, that is right. This is the same goddamn place we already looted. However, multiplayer had glitched and shown Toast a door, so he couldn't get in there. Yeah, whatever. I decided to just spend the rest of my day exploring. This exploring continued the morning of day 42. Grappling arm? Like the sounds of that. I also feel like I should mention that the animals in this biome are ridiculously aggressive for seemingly no reason. Oh no 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 Also I did notice something odd about Toast later at night. What the hell Toast? Stop? Turn around? Oh my god. What? You are the shadow man right now. You are wow. You are. What's your tanning regimen? Is he just being racist? Is, no, are you just dude. being racist? <laughs> or, uh... I'm, I mean, I mean, you are pitch black. Like it looks like a shadow. There's nothing there. I swear, don't cancel me, dude. Come on. I don't let's, know, man. Let's let's talk about this. Day 43 was a day of upgrading as much as we could. This began by building the modifier station. Oh, I can make a electric knife. <laughs> I oh. guess I'm gonna get the ultra high capacity tank quick. See what is that? Where are you with the imp? God damn. 225 seconds, the ultra high capacity. And now that I'm a little bit excited about all the upgrades to come, it was time to build the vehicle upgrade console, which gave me something to do for pretty much the rest of the day. Oh, you can make a depth module. Solid. And a perimeter defense. 
around your sub? Yeah. There's a fabricator right here. Perfect. Hull reinforcement? Oh, look, it says it on the side. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's pretty cheap to make. Lovely. So I'll make... I'm gonna make up three more. Oh, yeah. You already gotta. You already know I gotta go with my channel colors, red and black. Early in the morning on day 44, we kept on upgrading. Two six seven nine. The regulars just a ham. Two six seven nine. Two six seven nine. Ham and cheese. All right. Okay. And a ham and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and then we headed off to the Aurora with the captain's code now in hand. All right. Two six seven. All right. Let's see. Water. <gasps> data terminal. Oh, miniature Aurora. Neptune launch platform. What? Where's that? Uh, under uh, mobile vehicle bay. It takes two titanium ingots, a computer chip, and four lead. Hmm. Provides us for which to launch the Neptune. Okay, so that's probably the story. Is we're trying to get off this. Island, and we have yeah. to launch the rocket. Okay. All right. The morning of day 45, we reloaded and had to fix all the broken multiplayer things. Everything, everything survived except for those. Yeah. Yeah. The, the water purifiers. Some about those it's damn right. water purifiers, man. They just, just doesn't like them. Doesn't yeah. matter where we place them, too, eh? Yeah. Then I pretty much just explored the rest of the day. Day 46, we realized that we were in need of quite a lot of magnite. However, we hadn't found any yet. So I got a hot tip from one of my viewers that there was this shroom cave that contained a lot of great resources near our base, so I went out looking for that. Then it was time to pillage. Ah, there it is. I'm an idiot. There we go. <laughs> okay. You definitely don't... Yeah, don't go in there. Oh, ouch. It's, uh, it's actually quite violent down here. <laughs> yeah. Day 47, I exited the shroom cave, headed back to base, and it was time to start working on those Magonite upgrades. A lot of the upgrades I wanted also required stalker teeth, so these scanner room upgrades were hopefully going to be pretty helpful in obtaining them. Okay, yeah, so we can, wow, we can search for a lot more now. However, stalker teeth were still a pain in the ass to try to get. We'll find some, uh... Easy. Stalkers to ram. I'm ramming a stalker right now with my camera. Uh, okay. The morning of day 48, I got my hands on that stalker tooth I was in desperate need of. Oh, no. Got one. And used it to upgrade my Seamoth depth module. Maximum depth these Seamoths can dive to is. Nice. 900 meters. Solid. I also decided to craft myself a sonar module and test that out, later in the day also receiving another distress call. Early in the morning on day 49, we headed out after LifePod 12, and while LifePod 12 was cool, the blueprints we found in the surrounding area were even better. Oh, that's for the thermal thing. Oh, I got a whole piece. You got it. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> We then headed back to base where I began collecting all the resources we needed for the Cyclops while Toast made the thermal power plant and the power transmitters to get that energy back to our base. Here we are on day 50. We are now halfway through this playthrough which is awesome. Today was pretty much entirely spent trying to gather all the resources for the Cyclops. This included me going for a dive into the Shroom Cave and then Toast and I spending an unreasonable amount of time trying to get Stalker Teeth. Day 51 is a day that I will almost always remember because day 51 was the day we built the Cyclops. That's pretty big. That's, wow, that's a, it's very large. Piloted by three people. We got two, so yeah. should be fine. We spent the rest of the day exploring all of these Cyclops' awesome features. I felt a bit like a kid in a candy store. However, there was one less cool moment a bit later in the day. Bottom. Holy crap, this is a massive ship. Vehicle launch bay? Power cells. It can take six power cells to- Dude, this thing is so cool, what the hell? Yeah. Okay, what do we name Fire this submarine? Uh, 
I'll leave it up to you because you built most of it, so. Internal lighting on and off. Second person in here? Yeah. Space to go up. Alright. Hey. Oh, no. Damn it. Alright. You just blew up my prawn suit. Day 52, I headed out after another life pod, and boy was I not ready for the adventure I was gonna go on. What the fuck? What? The big guy? This thing came up on me out of nowhere. Apparently they have like an EMP built into them, so they can just fry your Seamoth. I am 600 meters down right now. Lovely. I'm picking up crystalline sulfur, whatever that's for. Oh, we need a lot of that, actually. I found this, like, acid lake, and it's just filled with this sulfur shit. There's some magonite here, too, it looks like. We need to take the cyclops down here, dude. Oh, yeah. <gasps> what? You good? Shit. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Fuck that. No, 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 I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. <laughs> There's a lot here that wants to be dead. The next three days, days 53, 54, and 55, were spent preparing the Cyclops for our first ever deep dive into whatever that cave was that I just came from. So, yeah, here are the highlights. Oh, yeah, so you can load up five decoys now. Alrighty. That's pretty solid. Oh. What? Is that your Cyclops? Or your... Seamoth? Yeah. Yeah. My Seamoth just got sucked into the, uh... Same thing happened to my prawn suit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and the Not doors fun. are locked. I'm gonna die in here. <laughs> Oh no! Whatever we put in there is gonna get destroyed. Well, no, I got my prawn suit in there. Fine. Oh. Yeah, no. What? My prawn suit was in there fine, it was just when I left it, we were like a foot off the ground, so it just... Oh, it smashed it? Yeah. I mean, do we want to chance it? Is the question. I mean, your prawn suit has what in it? Like... Here we go. Did it break? No, doctor, just fine. All right. Later in the day on day 55, though, we had made all our preparations. We were finally ready, so we headed off for the deep, dark abyss. The morning of day 56 was a lot of collecting resources outside the entrance to the main cave. This includes deep shrooms, blood oil, you know, all the stuff we're going to need a ton of. But after we had gathered a sufficient amount of all of these, it was time to head into the cave. And then, well multiplayer happened you don't see that oh, don't see nothing where'd you go it just where are you how'd you get outside uh <laughs> get thrown out the front Ah. Uh... Where are you right now? I'm right behind you. Where are we right now? We are... inside of the sub. Are we in that cave? Yeah. Why? Oh no. Uh, are you still on the surface? I am... <sighs> well, how, how best oh, to explain no. this? Ah! Uh, I'm back at our base. Oh, no. And on my screen, right. the sub is parked at our base. So do I pilot or do, do you pilot in this situation? Are you... I'm at home base right now in our sub. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think I just teleported us back to the home base. So yeah, I mean, that's what you get when you use a multiplayer mod. So let's head back. The morning of day 57, we were exploring the Spicy Lake Biome, also known as the Lost River. Have you got to the blue water yet? Nope. Oh. How much deeper Further is down, it? I'm at 900 meters. 
Yeah, I'm on 653, so. And you know what they say, you can always go deeper. The other way, there's like a lake. Oh my god, there is something here for sure. Oh yeah, that lag spike? Holy. The lagging. Good thing you brought those this tablets, eh? This structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. You seeing this thing? Yep. Uh, you can put a uh, tablet here. You got one. Uh, there, there is one. All right, you juggle here. I'll go grab the tablet from the. Okay. Digital biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms. I forgot to grab the goddamn tablet. He <laughs> didn't grab them. No, I found the storage crate, saw them, looked at them, and then I just didn't switch him. To the bacteria All right. is being downloaded. Day fifty-eight. The exploration continued. Toast crafted himself a ton of extra oxygen tanks, so he went for a deep dive while I just did a little bit of exploring and then sat around terrified of everything around me. Oh no! That's bad. What? You found a big guy? No, he found me. Also, we have this coffee machine for some reason. Why do we have a coffee machine? Hey man, I got thirsty. Day 59, our incredibly gargantuan brains were working overtime and we had potentially our dumbest idea yet. What if we upgrade the depth module while we're down here? You know what I just realized? What? We're gonna have to take this chip, the module out. Like, that module puts our crash depth at 900 meters. To upgrade it, we gotta take it out, bring it over here, upgrade it, and then put it back in. So. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how fast are you? <laughs> <laughs> and how quickly are we going to take damage here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's another good point. Like, All right. Is it instantly going to like break half of the ship? <laughs> we need a bunch of it. We need... 20 total to get it to mark three. Oh man okay uh that might be a tall order but i'll see what i can do we have 17 right now 17 no we have three sorry we need 17. wait how many lockers do we actually need oh all right <laughs> i'll rip down the lockers i will see what i can do i will start organizing right. you yeah yeah we're gonna have to head need... back anyways for more power. Like, our power, we're only at 35% plus 100. You know what? We might as well head back, I think. <laughs> you know what? Are we gonna start doing something smart now? Like, is that, <laughs> is that really? We're gonna barely make it back. <laughs> That's the plan, all right? <laughs> is that really <laughs> what we would do, okay? So not only are we going to do some destructive maintenance, but we're going to run on an empty tank back. Yes. <laughs> we're we're All right. surrounded by multiple leviathans, very outgunned. Cyclops, depth. All right. Come on. We're good. Mark three's in. You got it? Yeah. No damage? No damage. Hey, <laughs> all right. It's now day 60. We have no lockers left. We're running out of battery power. We are severely outgunned. So let's head down to the lava place. I won't lie, it's a little spooky and even Toast was starting to see things. Excessive noise. That is a big boy right there. Where? A big fucking boy to our right. I don't see anyone. All right. Naturally, we were too far committed at this point, so us and all of our vulnerabilities went into the hole in the wall. Okay, I need to- fuck. Tell him not to put it in the first door. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Why am I falling? Oh my god. Is, oh no. This is bad. This is bad. I need to get back. I- uh... Uh... Day 61, we managed to get into the massive underwater alien structure in the lava area thing. So we explored as much as we could. Unfortunately, there were two doors in this that required purple tablets, and we only had one, and we didn't have what we need to craft another one, so we could only open one door while we were down here. All right. I don't like the look of those shocky bits, you know? 
alien thermal plant. Integrating new PDA data. Alright, I got one. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Let's, Let's see where go. this goes. Yes, sir. Into the multiverse! Oh? You hold five times the charge. You can go deep as fuck with those guys, alright. We're only Love 92 meters deep now. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is this? Wait. This is the one that we've been to already, isn't it? Yeah, because we've already looted this. Yeah. So for some reason, this place is connected to the AA gun. Yes. Can we take a pawn suit through one of those portals? Probably not, but there's only one way to find out. With all this exploring being completed, it was finally time to head home. But you know us, we can't go 10 minutes without doing something dumb. See, partner wants to fire off the suppression system just to see what it does, you know? <laughs> right here, let's... Let's crank her. Alright, send her! Let's go! <laughs> oh. Says we're on fire. Alright. I don't see any fire yet. Oh, there we go. Let me see. You see it? Yep. Alright, let's fire it off. Alright. <laughs> Just locks everything down and fills it with water or No, it sucks the air out. Oh, uh, okay. Oh man, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> what? I just got yeeted. <laughs> okay, well I'm now inside of a spot that shouldn't have any oxygen. <laughs> Day 62, we were finally back home and kind of decompressing from that massive journey we had embarked on. I wanted to rebuild the prawn suit that was destroyed before that journey happened, so I started collecting those materials. We also built a radio in our base today, which is surprising that it took us this long. But yeah, pretty boring day. The morning of day 63, I was able to build my replacement prawn suit, which was pretty awesome. Spent a good majority of the rest of the day building and testing out some prawn suit upgrades. Cool beans. Day 64, I was still in a bit of an upgrade frenzy. I was trying to upgrade everything I could and Toast was right there with me. However, Toast being there with me turned out to be a little problematic. There you go, you can get your refill. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Why is, why did my, Oh god. What? No worries. That's such a weird glitch. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Seamus. Yep. Did it move? Yeah. Also on the topic of Toast, today was the day where I actually took a minute to read what he had named his prawn suit and well... Wait, did you name your prawn prawn hub? Took you long enough. Calorie intake recommended. Rep prawn hub, that's what you went with. Yep. Day 65 was one of those days where I just kind of fucked around. Did some random stuff, gathered some resources, but by the end of the day I did get one other prawn suit upgrade that I wanted, though that is really the only interesting part of today. Day 66 I was out exploring four more blueprints. I really wanted to find the drill arm, so I was searching known locations for that. And while I didn't find exactly what I was looking for, I did find a few cool things. What the fuck are you? Day 67, I am still looking for Rex, and I am still not finding anything. Thankfully though, Toast and I were having some multiplayer sound sharing glitch things. Yeah. What are you doing right now? Um, wandering. Oh Jesus Christ. I think I can hear you walking. The clump, 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 clump. <laughs> Stop moving? Fuck off. There's no way I can hear you 2,000 meters away. <laughs> 
The morning of day 68, our big brains were working overtime to conceive new methods of transportation. Chief, tow me back in. <laughs> Tell me when your grapple hooked onto me. On. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Is it working? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Toast and I then decided let's head back to the anti-aircraft gun. We now have a purple tablet, so we're going to go through the portal there that leads us down to that lava place and open that door we couldn't open before. Wait, is this the wrong island? I hope not. Yep. Our dumbasses went the wrong way. It is now day 69 and Toast is having some trouble navigating the alien structure in his prawn suit. I can't walk inside of the base. I have to grapple around. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna drop like a rock. Let's see. More than 15 Reaper Leviathan on the map. Huh. Um, yeah, I just dropped like a rock. I don't think there's any getting this thing up. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. There's a moon pool. I could have went in through the moon pool. Blue tablet. Yeah, what's that for? Who knows? After gathering the remaining data and opening the final door, we decided to explore a bit outside and gather some more Keonite. Yeah, this place 100% goes deeper. Realizing that we can go much deeper in the lava zone than we initially thought, and that there is most likely something extremely important down there, we spent day 70 prepping for this deep dive. Day 71, I wanted one more shot at finding the blueprints for the prawn suit drill arm before we went on this deep dive, so I took my Seamoth out and went exploring. Near the end of the day, I was starting to lose hope even though I only needed one more blueprint, and then... Oh, <gasps> is that it? Is it? Hey, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm coming home, baby. Obviously, day 72 was going to be spent building the prawn suit drill arm. However, I had to go exploring for some resources first. With all the resources now acquired, though, I can build it. There we go. Oh, goddamn time. Spent the rest of the day doing some more prep work. The morning of day 73, the preparations continued. While out gathering food for Toast and myself, I noticed something just a little bit odd. Why? Why? Why are you here? On my screen, there's a lot. Remember those big worms from downstairs? Yeah. Yeah, one of them's on the surface. Huh. I mean, it's dead now. Near the end of the day, though, Toast and I were finally prepared, so we set off on this expedition. The first half of day 74 was spent getting down into the lava zone. The second half of day 74, once we were actually down in the lava zone, was trying to figure out where to go, and we were not making the correct choices to start. Is it a dead end or just a tight squeeze? Is that something you really want to find out? Kinda. Hope you're oh, happy. Looks like a dead end to me. I wonder if you get anything for killing those teleporting guys, you know? Like some, like, ender pearls or something. <laughs> That'd be funny. Bright and early on day 75, we found the opening we were supposed to go through. Is that just a pit of lava? <laughs> no, no, this looks like a way down. Alright. There's, there's an opening down here to a new cave. Oh, that's a base, isn't it? <gasps> what? Oh god. What? I just saw the sea dragon. I'm just gonna park at the front door. <laughs> park at the front door, you crash into something. <laughs> and now Toast and I get to explore. That doesn't sound good. Oh, wait, what? Huh? What? Oh, does this thing make ion cubes? Huh? Oh, that is what it's doing. Why are they researching a sea emperor? Yeet. Yeah, why not? It's gonna be underwater. Yeah. It. It's the underwater one. What? What? <laughs> Where are we? I don't think it's the underwater one. Uh, this is the Lost River. We're still 600 meters down. 
there's like an endless guitar riff going on on my on my uh side. me too <laughs> the endless riff yes <laughs> Like, it almost sounds like something like getting stuck in a fan, you know? <laughs> it sounds like, yeah. That's actually a good way to put it. Now that we've explored all the small rooms, day 76 comes around and it's time for us to head through the big door. Do we jump in or do we check out the other side first? Alright! I like it. Hi! What are you? Alright, never mind. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, this is the bitch that's been talking Others to us. Came here or fight against it as they did. I, I, so, enzymes to hatch the young? You're not at all skeptical yeah. about that. No, no. They just want to play. What'd she say she'd give us? She'd give us what the others seek. The cure. So I'm guessing the cure. Yeah. We want to be cured. We gotta. We gotta save our babies. Well, that seems like an unfair trade. And oh my God, was that guitar riff getting on our nerves? Oh my God, this fucking riff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's no way that's I'm intentional. Go, <laughs> I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> Maybe they're doing it so you'll just beat the game quick. <laughs> it's like we ran out of content. Beat the game already. <laughs> It's just, forever. it's just a forever riff. <laughs> like, my guy, your fingers have got to be getting tired by now. <laughs> the fucking guitar riff. Oh, my God. You know how much of a bitch this is going to be an audacity to try to cut? Actually, you know what? Screw them. <laughs> now you're leaving it in. Yes. Yeah, they viewers, suffer with us. You are suffering with us, all right? I want you to know we listen to this for hours because of you. <laughs> <laughs> with the passage you have opened... My young can leave this place, but first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. All right. Oh yeah, this, this is it. Ah, oh, okay. The others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hatching enzymes. There we go. Huh. All right. Convenient. Head back to the thing. Yep. Is it just me or does that look like a a vial of splooge? I guess that Is makes that, sense, I guess. This girl, well, I mean, technically, yeah, but come on, man. Day 77, it was time for us to craft up this enzyme that we needed to hatch the Sea Emperor's kids and progress in the story. So we started heading through the portals. Yeah, after a surprisingly short search of getting everything, we crafted up the enzymes and went back to hatch those eggs. Yeah, I got it. All right, meet me back at the ship, I guess, and... Insert hatching enzyme. All right, here we go. Oh. Huh? Should I stab one? What happens? Probably no, no. I just wait to see. Look at the fucking titan over us. <laughs> It'd be funny if I stabbed one of her kids in front of her, though. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, one little poke. She's just intently staring, dude. Yeah, I feel like something is supposed to happen. It is now day 78, and we have no idea what's supposed to be happening right now. Alright. She's dead. <laughs> you died. She's dead. I feel like I'm supposed to be... Something? Yes. Anything? Hello? <laughs> She's dead. This is a bum deal. We didn't even get cured. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we definitely missed something here. No, apparently she was supposed to just talk to us. It was supposed to be like a cutscene. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I don't know. Gotta love multiplayer, but I guess it worked out in the end. I found a ball. Huh? I also did. Touch it? Yeah. Oh. Is this the cure? I, maybe. <laughs> Are we cured now? We might be cured. Alright. Self scan time. Self scan Go. complete. 
Vital signs normal. Hey, we're no healed. All right, all right, it's right here. Infection. Let's go touch the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You gonna touch the thing? Get your head out of my way. <laughs> I can't see. Too late. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Also, I love my YouTube brain for coming up with incredible ways to put things. Well, I uh, retrieve our sub now, I guess? I guess that's the story done. Alright. Somehow, the Sea Empress cured a disease because we splunked on her kids. Please don't put it like that. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> that's, that's gonna be the title. <laughs> we splunked on fish kids. She's still alive! After mining some ion cubes though, we were in for a bit of a heartbreaking moment. Uh, is it just me or is our uh, sub a little bit too close to the ground? Why is it, why is the glass broken? Are you fu- Is it? Oh my fucking god. You have gotta be kidding me. What? How? We didn't even land anything in it. How? What happened? Yeah, I guess it's time to head home. The morning of day 79, I was still heading back to the main base and I had to let just a bit of anger out. Toast also still had that stupid guitar riff happening on his side, so today he finally snapped. Too bad. It's not horrible. Probably take Oh us my god, this fucking guitar. <laughs> 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 it's so annoying. <laughs> oh man. I can just feel your sanity snap there. Well, I didn't realize that I was listening to it the entire time I was going to the bathroom. <laughs> Until I got back, I was like, oh, it's the fucking guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you can wake up in the middle of the night just in a cold sweat. Just ring. This in your fucking eardrums. Ring. <laughs> 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 Today we also built the Neptune launch platform and then Toast taught me all about how different angles can make a massive difference. You know what? I think our fuck you tower is just tall enough. You know why? Why? Because there's nothing to compare it to other than that ship behind us. So as long as we look at it this way, then it's the biggest thing on the on the planet. You know what? That's good logic. Yeah? yeah. This, is, this is our biggest fuck you tower yet. <laughs> but if you rotate it about 120 degrees... No, 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 no. <laughs> if I... If stand really close. Day 80, Toast and I divided up some tasks that needed to be done. I was working on gathering resources for the Neptune rocket gantry, while Toast was gathering resources to replace our Cyclops. But yeah, pretty average and boring day. It is now the morning of day 81, and there is something I forgot to tell you guys. Every time we re-log, the nuclear reactor on board the Aurora breaks again and leaks radiation, so no matter how many times we fix it, we're always gonna still need our radiation suits. Oh, god damn it, dude. But yeah, I honestly don't even know what my objective was for today. I was kind of just wandering around, being lazy, looking for blueprints. Early in the morning on day 82, I found this new dope place that we hadn't explored yet. Oh. Shit. Oh? This is one we need, right? Yeah. Ooh, do. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's somebody. That's somebody. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Oh my god, that thing does damage. It's bio I wonder if this biome's just called the blue ball biome or something. Day 83, I went out searching for something that Toast and I had not yet found. Of course I found it. You know what I just found, Toast? What did you find? I found fuel. Fuel? Yeah. All right. Yeah, my chat yelled at me for calling the cuttlefish egg fuel, but you know what? It is what it is. From here, I headed straight to the Lost River because I needed some nickel for the Neptune rocket. Come on. Woo! What? Did you die? You died. 
<laughs> gonna lose the fucking egg, aren't ya? Hey, I did not kill that cuttlefish, okay? The ghost leviathan did. Well, back to the Lost River, because I still need some nickel. Day 84 was a war between me and the ghost leviathan. Why is it just hard guarding camping my, like, my little hole here? There's like 70 other fish out there you can eat. Much meatier ones, too, if I'm about it. Yeah, the entire day I did not get one single nickel. The morning of day 85, my luck took a turn for the better and I managed to get my hands on the two nickel that I needed. But then I headed through the wrong portal to try to get back to my Seamoth and multiplayer really effed me over. I went through a portal, not sure which one was led to my my Seamoth. Yeah. So I went through one and when I got through it, there was just no portal back. Cause this was and it was the wrong one that's kind of funny so now i am on the complete opposite side of the map from from your sea two thousand meters to be specific <laughs> what a long swim holy shit! day 86 i realized that the neptune gantry was gone again it must have disappeared when we restarted the server so from here on out what we're gonna do is just put all the materials required to build the neptune from scratch in a chest and then on our final session we can build it up oh and toast also finished his project of building the new cyclops today so the rest of the day was pretty much spent customizing it again here it comes the cyclops yeah oh yeah it's back baby fucking wonderful what should we name this one? My name the last one. Uh, what was the last one's name? Uh, I think it was Bandit's Toaster? Toast or something like that, yeah. All right, what about the, the Toaster Bandit? I don't think it'll fit. Oh, it will. And what colors are we going with? I'll let you choose. All right. You ever? Yeah, that'll do. Oh yeah, it's fucking wonderful. The morning of day 87, I was trying my very best to get stalker teeth. Unfortunately, I couldn't get myself any. I then decided, you know what, I actually need to go get myself a cuttlefish, so I went out to get an egg. Also, for some reason, I have two eggs, though I have absolutely no idea where the other egg came from. The morning of day 88, I was trying to get my aquarium up and running. Oh, you have to add a hatch. Though for some reason I couldn't place a hatch to actually get in it, so I had to troubleshoot a bit. Okay, wonderful. Now that I'm in here. Cool. The rest of the day I was trying to get stalker teeth and... Well, this one stalker was just trolling, honestly. The stalker's just like dancing, dude. Like, it's not even doing anything. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah, he really is, like... Continuing into the morning of day 89, I was still trying to get my hands on a stalker tooth and I was not having any luck at all. Being a bit frustrated, I decided, you know what, let's go meet my new hatched friends. Okay, yeah, I see what they're talking about. These cuttlefish are pretty cute. What are you, buddy? Can I, like, pet them? Play with fish? Aww. Okay, that's, yeah, that's cute. Toast had also been finishing up his upgrades on the Cyclops and was finally ready to show off all his hard work to me. Okay, well you got your swivel chairs. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. Dining area. Yeah, huh. Yeah, wow. Vending machine that you can't use. <laughs> you can use it. What? Oh. Oh, you can. Bunch of lockers. Ton of lockers. Oh, yeah. Then I also have downstairs, we have some extra batteries. Okay. Are those all ion on? batteries in the, um... The morning of day 90, I was still trying to get a goddamn stalker tooth. And I was okay with it until the stalkers started attacking my friends. Hey! And then, finally. Oh! Did you get one? Yeah, I got one. Oh, yeah, that stalker tooth I needed for the Neptune rocket. Now I remember. You see, 
which gave us pretty much everything we need for the Neptune rocket with the exception of some sulfur. Early in the morning on day 91, Toast and I were trying to catch a cuttlefish. You have to command him to like stop following you and then he'll play with you for a second or something and then... I can't pick him up. <laughs> My fingers are getting a workout. We're planning on going on one last dive to get some sulfur, and while we don't need to take the Cyclops, we want to. So today was just making sure we had everything we could possibly need for this dive. Before we departed the morning of day 92, we were having some power problems. Oh, we're only at 20% battery, eh? For what? For this, the Cyclops. What? Wait, you made an anti-energy? We did. What? We're ne we we don't have power. We're negative two two thousand one hundred and forty-seven. But once that was all sorted, it was time to head off and have some nice conversations on the way. All right, let's go. Damn, your guys got like the flattest ass I've ever seen. Wow. I didn't know we were bot. Fuck me. <laughs> Goddamn. Another thing I'm not sure if you guys noticed is that Toast is sitting in a chair that he crafted next to me. This is because if he walked around the Cyclops while I was driving it, it would glitch, lag, and it would usually result in him taking damage. Just throwing that out there. Uh, you wanna, like, load up another decoy? Well, you have five, don't you? No, well, I had to use one. We got attacked. Oh, so we have four. Oh, fucking damn it! I died because you're moving. <laughs> you wanna get in your chair? Yeah, I was doing what you told me to do. Uh oh. There we go. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. I'm gonna take out the, all of our decoys. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> it's just a, a fucking dog. It's a it's what a turbo dude. Uh, oh, did you wait, scan I, this? I didn't I didn't scan that one. Scan that one, Toast! Oh, fetch. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna blow this fucking sub out of the water. <laughs> you fucking test me. <laughs> the morning of day 93, we were in the Lost River collecting all the resources we could. That feels so badass, just dropping out of a a massive submarine, a fucking ro a mech. No, because I know there's a ghost leviathans in the void, so you know I'm just not gonna. Made a mental note. Let's avoid that. I think that's a smart idea. And it's a void. There's nothing to see other yeah. than those scary things. You know? <laughs> hey, do you want to go to that place with nothing that's going to kill you? <laughs> like, no, I'm good. On the way back, we decided, you know what? It might be a good idea to let Toast drive the Cyclops just to see what happens. Oh, oh hello. my god. Hello. Don't get, hey, a, boy. don't get a stuck on top of this guy. Oh boy. Now we're good. Oh boy. This is a plane, not a ship. Plane, not a ship. We're good. <laughs> what is you... a plane, not a ship? I'm what telling you. you do, it's Toast? A plane. What did you do, Toast? What did you do, Toast? Toast. We're at home. <laughs> Look. There's scary things under the water, and yes. we are a plane. <laughs> <laughs> You're flying. Oh, God. Don't jump when we're moving. Oh, yeah. No, no it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I can also do a hard turn and then you'll slam into a wall. You wanna try? <laughs> What's the worst thing that happen? Go for it. Oh! Alright, let's send her! <laughs> Woo! I died. Oh, I'm back in the water. You died! <laughs> <laughs> the morning of day 94, our chats let us know about the time capsules and that we needed to have a decent screenshot for it. Oh, that's fucking wonderful. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they're getting in the time capsule. They're getting that. The best part is, is that this game is single player. If someone doesn't know about the mod, they'd be like, how did this person take a picture of their own ass? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we also had this orange tablet that we collected earlier in the playthrough, and our chat was only now telling us that the door for it was down in the Lost River, which would have been nice to know a day ago, but whatever. Let's go. <laughs> I got here. I'm lost and confused, man. <laughs> Day 95 came around and we were still looking for this orange tablet door. It hunted sea dragons. Alright. That's nice to know. Yep. We're, in the, we're in its fucking home. And then we found it. Alright, insert the tablet. Let's go. Can you do it? 
Hey. Well, this place is pretty nifty. Not disappointing. What's... That wasn't the word that I was going to use, but you know. Yeah, that was disappointing. It was then time to head out of the cave. Once we actually got out, we were right underneath the second island, and we realized we hadn't actually properly explored this place yet, so we figured, why not? Yep. Oh, another grow bed. Okay, so we can farm now. Great. I am very disappointed we didn't get the farming simulator stuff earlier. Yeah, you're right. There's nothing that quite gets me going, like planting trees and watching them grow. The morning of day 96, I had to just take a moment and reflect on this game's beauty. Look at that fucking tower sticking out of the water. See, I think it's big enough. God, that, that sub really is bright pink. <laughs> Under the water doesn't do it justice, but like... When we arrived back at base, there was something we hadn't seen in a long time. Wait, yo. Yo, come here. Look at that. Okay, well that was fucking enlightening. Uh, then we decided, you know what? Let's build the rocket. All right, there we go. The the right. the heads on. It's the entire right, rocket built. Let's see what some head looks like. Yeah, this rocket's held together by hope, dreams, and flex tape. However, there was only one chair in the rocket, and Toast couldn't place a chair, so he came up with the dumbest, smartest idea ever. <laughs> Wait. Hear me out. What if we build two rockets? <laughs> and we both take off at the same time. Could we do that? Eh? I don't see why not. All right, let's let's start building another rocket. We, we have enough time. We can do it. <laughs> let's that's build two stick, rockets. That's the dumbest idea. <laughs> Look, we're fucking doing it, bud. Let's go. <laughs> All right. This is such a dumb idea. I fucking love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then we each get our own time capsules, too. Who can, who can say that they fucking launched two rockets in Subnautica? Yeah. We're gonna have to hit that launch button at exactly the same time. <laughs> the morning of day 97, I was in the Lost River trying to get the nickel and sulfur that we needed to build a second rocket. About halfway through the day, I had all the nickel and sulfur that we would need, so I headed back, and honestly, this was the most teamwork Toast and I had ever showed each other. Ever. Toast can't. There's only one seat, so we're going to build a whole ass other rocket right there. <laughs> and we decided we were going to do this about 10 minutes ago, so we're rushing to get all the materials to build that other rocket. So I need plasticine and three nickel. Do we have nickel? Yeah, of course, that's what I went to get. Top floor. Okay. Top floor is all the... Top floor, there's like a chest with all of the hard shit you'll need. By the morning of day 98, the second rocket was completed. Go two rockets! <laughs> we did it, two rockets. Now we get to do the tandem takeoff. <laughs> yeah. We then each took a bit of time to personalize our time capsules. All right, you want to start climbing up this uh, ladder really quick? There we go. That's the one. That's the one. Yep. Just your ass going up a ladder. Uh, you can write a message too. Yeah, um, no. Mine's with mine's your character with the drill bit up his ass, saying proper hygiene is the most important thing. We then realized we hadn't made a bed yet, so we figured, why not? All right, climb in. I'm in. That did. Was that I didn't it? Lie down. <laughs> I didn't even. Was that it? I'm not tired enough, I guess. <laughs> I sat down, laid down for a second, got back up. Check the day. What day are we on? We're halfway through day 99. <laughs> My guy just doesn't sleep. <laughs> yeah. He just lays down for a second. He's like, oh, <laughs> we just cracked it's been our knuckles. It's been 99 days and I'm good. <laughs> we just. Oh my god, yeah. We just skipped a full day, dude. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, uh, it's day 99 now. We decided we wanted to admire everything in the aquarium as we had dumped all our eggs in there just to see what came out. Wait, if we kill everything else and put a bunch of metal in there and a grab trap, can we... Nah, there's no way. Just, just, I mean... I mean, you could try to get in there and see what happens, but... 
And while roaming around just a bit later in the day, Toast saw something strange. You see anything here? Yeah. This is what's left of our other yeah. Cyclops. This is, this is the old Cyclops. Is there still shit in here? Yeah, there's titanium in here. <laughs> Copper and... I don't know, deep shrooms. Why is... Why is he here? What? I don't know. Got a bunch of diamonds. Yeah. Ooh. All the shit, like a bunch of the shit we lost is still here. The old Cyclops had to come say goodbye, dude. Like, apparently, I make myself a coffee. I then spent some time positioning things as I wanted the final day to be cinematically perfect. And we made it, fellas. We are now watching the sunrise on day 100. We decided today that we wanted to make one of those 360 observatories at the top of our FU tower. So in the morning, we got some stalker teeth and quartz, and then we crafted ourselves our glass ball. Here we go. How does this even work? Like, <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's kind of cool. Why couldn't we have just built floating bases? We wouldn't have had to worry about so many of like the problems. Of it just being a little bit underwater. Oxygen, no problem. And then it was time for me to have one last look around at everything. Aquarium, every fish in there is an asshole. You will die in there of hunger or terminal dehydration. Of course, Banks's garage. Bandit's baby, I'll miss you. Beautiful color scheme. The weeds growing through my thing. I will miss you too. I don't know why we didn't cut those down. <laughs> of course, I had to have a beautiful moment of saying goodbye to my cuttlefish while Toast decided to say goodbye to his cuttlefish in a, a different way. Yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye. All right, goodbye. Let's I appreciate see you. Cuttlefish. <laughs> see you, buddy. I'll miss He's you. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Um, yeah, you too. The water. <laughs> you just throw the cuttlefish off the. <laughs> I had a cinematic moment with my cuttlefish, dude. <laughs> Just fucking yeeted him off. Then, with everything going exactly as planned, it was time to fire up both of our rockets, wait for the sunrise, signifying that we had spent 100 complete days on Subnautica, and then we can get out of here. Oh, Shoot here up. comes the sun. Toast, yep. this is it. We've been working 100 days for this. 100 days. Crazy. Here, we, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Launch rocket while quarantine. Enforcement platform. What? Is still active. Why did we speed run to the platform? No. Let's go! <laughs> no, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! We're charred! We're supposed we to be charred! We're charred! <laughs> we gotta go, man! Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> <laughs> Our perfect cinematic moment ruined! Ruined! <laughs> Let's go! We gotta go! That's fucking hilarious. We had everything ready. <laughs> everything was perfect. We Every built a second fucking rocket. <laughs> Said her goodbye. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't leave yet. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, are you kidding me? Radiation here. Let's hurry. Okay, I'm getting checked again. All right. You have the the sickness. I don't. Probably should have self scanned. It sounds like it's shutting down. Okay, I'm still going for it. Yeah, I'm normal. Uh, All right, it's it's shut down. It's shut down. All right. Goodbye so again, buddy. I'll miss you. You're so beautiful. Go on, live your life. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go. Yes! Yes! We're free! Fucking A! All Fuck right. you, Subnautica! <laughs> We're done. It's over. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Command, All right, let's let's watch. Let's just right. let's just watch and enjoy this. Launching. 
two, one. Time capsule jettison. Caution, approaching orbital debris field. No. Oh no. Orbital debris field clear. Alright, we're okay. Performing gravity okay. turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sands. We are different, but we go together. <sighs> okay. Fucking A. Fucking A. Yeah, the last day didn't go exactly as planned, but I'm sure you guys probably enjoyed it. I appreciate you all watching this video. Toast and I put a significant amount of effort into it, so thank you for being here at the end. We will do 200 days in Subnautica if we hit a light goal. I would be the one to set it, but that's just not fair, so you know who we gotta ask. You know what I gotta ask you, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we can't do 100 days together in Subnautica 2 because there's no multiplayer game mode or oh. mod for that. So, yeah. how many likes on this video will it take for you to do 200 days in Subnautica? Um, shit, man. I don't know. Like, alright, what about 5,000 likes and we'll do. 200 days. I don't know what we're gonna do for 200 days, but we're, we're gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we won't hit 5k we likes. No, nah, nah, we're not gonna hit 5k likes in this video. That's fine. Probably not. We'll be good. It's we'll be chilling. Yeah, 5k. It's not the forest, so we're good. Yeah, it's not we'll the forest. People only like watching us play the forest, so 5k yeah. is a safe bet. Yeah. 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 All we'll right. But yeah, 5,000 likes. We'll do 200 days. Be sure to follow Mad Toaster Waffles. All of his links are in the description. Obviously, he is an absolute homie. This entire playthrough was streamed on Twitch too. That link is in the description, along with all of my other socials if you give a shit. Again, thank you guys very, very, very much for watching this video. Comment any other games you might want to see me and Toast play. But it's been your boy Bandit Banks, and I will catch you all in the next one.